हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई विल बिगिन विथ योर फेवरेट टॉपिक इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक डू यू नो व्हाट इज दैट टॉपिक दैट इज एंगल ऑफ रिपोज एंड दिस कंटेंट बिलोंग्स टू द फ्रिक्शन सो फ्रिक्शन इज आल्सो द पार्ट ऑफ लॉज ऑफ मोशन यू शुड नो दैट वॉट इज एंगल ऑफ रिपोज Actually, several times, you, me, or other person, we have witnessed that on any inclined plane, if we sit on the inclined plane, then a certain angle of the inclination of the plane with horizontal, at which the motion. of the sitting board the sitting person the sitting body the sitting object on the inclined plane just at the verge of motion downward the plane again i am repeating by the help of diagram angle of repose angle of repose make an inclined plane like that an object is just put on the inclined plane let there be an angle lambda made by the inclined plane with horizontal then we can observe we can notice that at which angle this body kept on the inclined plane just at the verge of motion downward at at what angle so the angle at which the body lying on the inclined plane is just about to move downward is just at the verge of motion downward that angle is known as angle of repose okay you will see that just i want to give you an example here like that this is the plane here this is the plane here just i am giving you an example this is the horizontal and this marker is here it is lying on the rest and increase the inclination of the plane increase the inclination of the plane at moment the angle is lambda the body is just at the verge of motion downward sliding downward that particular moment at that particular moment this angle lambda is called angle of repose now what would be the formula relation for lambda let us try to note it the weight mg since mass is m that will act downward this is the normal reaction r this angle will also be lambda and the resolve part of mg along this normal to the plane downward that will be will be equal to mg cos lambda and here it will be mg sin lambda the question is at the verge of motion means is supporting force here force of friction that will balance its motion downward means f at moment the body is just at the verge of motion not under motion very important point to be noted so f is balanced by mg sin lambda that is mg sin lambda is equal to f equation number 1 and again this mg cos lambda is equal to r this normal reaction is balanced by the mg cos lambda equation number 2 divide 1 by 2 that means 
वन बाई टू इम्प्लाइज एम जी साइन लेमडा बाय एम जी कॉस लेमडा एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू एफ बाई आर एम जी एम जी कट साइन लेमडा बाई कॉस लेमडा दिस इज टेन लेमडा इज इक्वल टू एफ बाई आर एंड यू कैन सी हियर लेमडा इज इक्वल टू टेन इनवर्स एफ बाई आर you know very well about f by r f by r is equal to what mu so lambda is equal to tan inverse f by r since since f by r is equal to mu so you can also write here f by r is equal to mu means lambda is equal to tan inverse f by r one thing a very important relation i have derived in the previous class i think you know it very well tan theta the it was tan theta is equal to mu let us consider it it is very interesting i think uh i should try to make that uh, equation i should try to make that equation and that equation can be written here like that this here lambda is equal to tan inverse f by r that is mu also we know that tan theta is equal to mu and theta is equal to tan inverse theta is equal to tan inverse mu so you can compare this equation to this equation you can write here equation number 3 you can write it equation number 4 and compare 3 and 4 what will you find here that lambda is equal to theta by 3 and 4 lambda is equal to theta so lambda is angle of repose but theta is angle of friction that means angle of friction is numerically equal to angle of repose some more concept behind this logic are to be explained we will do it in our upcoming class but here this technical concept lambda is equal to theta and something fundamental concept also you can say both type of pleasure we are feeling here because lambda is equal to theta really a very interesting and full of pleasure result angle of repose equal to angle of friction now let us move forward for the next content and that con content is uh, content is motion on a rough horizontal surface so let us understand it motion on a rough horizontal surface what is the meaning of rough horizontal surface we have to understand it rough horizontal surface means there is a surface like that there is a roughness on this surface means there is a friction and let us try to put a body of mass m which weight will be mg and normal reaction will be r now if we want to explain about the motion of the body of mass m on horizontal surface then let a force small f 
is applied on this body then we all know according to laws of friction the motion will take place along rightward direction with acceleration a suppose acceleration is a but the force of friction will just act here in opposite direction that means f so f is the external force which is being applied on the body and the force of friction capital f which is opposing it but overall the motion is being uh the motion is being witnessed here along rightward direction with acceleration a then what would be the equation of motion f minus f is equal to mass into acceleration this is equation 1 and since f is equal to mu r therefore you can write this f is equal to mu r here and f is equal to mu r means what mg here r is equal to mg that is f is equal to mu mg equation number 2 we can put this value in equation 1 that is equation 1 implies that f minus mu mg is equal to ma so f is equal to taking it in right direction it is mu mg plus ma and taking common m we can write here mu g plus a so this is the force here amount of force that is being applied here so this is the equation of motion on the rough horizontal surface very much important for the sake of numericals now in the next class in the next video we will discuss about some other concepts regarding this topic till then keep watching my video and please like subscribe share comment also thank you